No matter what part of the world you live in, I suspect that music is a part of your daily experience. When you hear a certain song and you find yourself singing along or tapping your feet to the beat, chances are it's because all the elements are in sync. If those elements aren't working together, the resulting tune can sound unpleasant. We can take the three primary elements of most songs, rhythm, harmony, and melody, and apply those same concepts to the way we perform in our roles as internal auditors. Like musicians creating beautiful music, in which all the instruments are in tune and all the parts flow together, successful internal auditors continuously fine-tune their audit approach and philosophy. They apply professional fundamentals while taking into account the expectations of their stakeholders. They proactively seek a deeper understanding of the nature of their organizations. Whether you are a one-person audit department or one of hundreds, you too help set the beat. You adjust the changing conditions, bringing in the instruments needed to ensure the audit function operates seamlessly. I'm Mike Joyce, and the theme I've chosen for my year as Global Chairman of the Institute of Internal Auditors is Audit in Tune. Every song begins with rhythm. Rhythm is the basic building block that supports a song. Establishing rhythm as internal auditors begins with implementing critical fundamentals, most notably the International Professional Practices Framework, or IPPF. Contained within its pages is the sheet music from which we should all be playing, the code of ethics and the standards. These should underpin everything we do as we engage in frequent and robust discussions with our audience, our boards, our audit committees, senior and operating managers, and our regulators. Effective audit leaders understand the importance of bringing everyone into the discussion, particularly the audit staff itself. It is an opportunity to guide and help everyone achieve their potential. Keep in mind that we aren't just internal auditors. We are members of a fast-growing global community comprising about 200,000 members. The second element, harmony, is about the influential role we play in an organization's success. In a song, harmony is achieved with chords that move it from beginning to middle to end. How do we manage our audit processes in a way that is structured to hold everything together? First, we must identify the key risks to our organizations and ensure our audits are timely, relevant, and responsive to our stakeholders' needs. When it comes to documenting our work, it doesn't matter whether our instrument of choice is a simple desktop application or a vendor-supplied work paper tool, as long as the right content is there. Whether we are a solo act or one of many, the need for efficient, professional, clear, and objective techniques to validate and support our audit observations and recommendations are the same. On the way to becoming more complete internal auditors, it's critical that we obtain and support the Certified Internal Auditor designation. The CIA is a globally recognized symbol of our professionalism and it demonstrates our ability to play a leading role in elevating organizational success. I have an even greater appreciation now of the CIA designation I received more than 30 years ago. It reflects our commitment to continued professional growth and development. It shows our value as trusted advisors. Truly, the CIA plays an instrumental role in helping us make our mark on our organizations, our profession, and in our communities. The CIA is like the lead guitar. It may be a single instrument, but it's easy to hear above the rest. And finally, we have the melody. The melody is the memorable part of a song. It's when everything comes together to produce something we'll be humming years from now. As internal auditors, our melody is in how we help our organizations attain success through our unique contributions. This is our opportunity to share our insight and foresight, to demonstrate our strategic knowledge of our respective industry or organization, to earn our seat at the table. I think of this as our value add proposition. After injecting our own personal style and expertise, we arrive at something that sets a particular audit result apart from others. Did we tell them something they didn't already know? What is it about our approach that makes managers roll out the welcome mat? We don't have to sacrifice objectivity or independence to successfully partner with our clients. However, some of the best audit observations come from employees who trust us enough to share specific facts that our audit procedures might never have identified. 
While assurance is a critical responsibility we will always provide, we can and must do more to add value. Whether your journey as an internal auditor lasts two years, 10 years, or 50, strive to be the very best you can be. This means becoming fully invested in the profession. Put your personal talents and skills to work on the job and in your communities. Through your efforts to audit in tune, you will enhance your personal management and audit skills. And that will benefit your organizations in ways you may never have imagined possible. We are the band of internal auditors. Let's make some beautiful music together.